I suppose we'll do this video in this style. So coming in from Variety, um, obviously I think many of you have seen this. Uh, it's been going around, a lot of people have been debating this. And obviously, as I say Variety, they're a big outlet, you know, they don't just toss out anything. There's always numbers and facts and things to back up what they are claiming and what they put out. So here's the latest one. Study shows 70% of consumers would rather watch new movies at home. So you know how this starts. Obviously, what's happening with uh, COVID and all that. Um, there's obviously uh, them, you know, polling people, trying to figure out results, surveys and all that. And obviously, you can't survey a ton of people. You can't survey like 10 million people, right? That's just not going to happen. But they did survey. A certain amount of people and they'll go over everything in this and how they broke it down what questions were asked but the most important one if the costs are roughly the same would you prefer to see a first run movie you're excited about as a digital rental at home or in a movie theater if both were available at the same time well out of a hundred people let's just say out of a hundred because hundred hundred percent you know but it's more than that just go check out the article if you want the complete breakdown more likely to watch at a theater not sure more likely to watch at home. Now, I myself end up falling into this, more likely to watch at home. And obviously in this, um, they're gonna keep going down and um, it's a very interesting read and I don't wanna break it down word for word, everything. But again, here you go. How likely you to attend a Broadway show in New York? Again, here's another good breakdown of that. And then, you know, they go into more details on this and this discrepancies and all that. And I think the big takeaway here that you should take away from this is what films do you need to see in theaters? Like, for example, you know, I understand people want to see the next Avengers film, right? You want to see the big blockbuster Marvel and DC films and like a Transformers, right? But do you need to see the next, you know, Blumhouse film in a theater? Do you need to see it, you know, in a theater with 200 other people munching on popcorn, usually a screaming child running around that shouldn't be there, that's not of age, people coughing, you know, whatever you will. Again, certain experiences, right? I think certain experiences can't be removed from the theater. That energy you had watching Avengers Endgame with everybody and people, you know, clapping and cheering and crying and all that, that's a shared experience. I would never want to watch a film like that somewhere like, you know, sitting at my friend's house or at my house, but at least for a first viewing. But I think most people agree. More likely to watch it at home if it's the same. I mean, let's be real and just think of it in a logistical way. If I, you know, want to go with, let's say, I'm part of a four-person family and we want to go see the movie. So we got, we got to go opening weekend. We got to go watch 3D or IMAX or whatever they're pushing because we want to get the experience. And we're going to go watch whatever new Pixar movies out, right? Okay. So we're paying $13 to $18 a ticket depending on where you are. All right, and then you got to pay for your water or your drink. Then you got to pay for your concession. You're already going to wrap up, what, like $100 wrapped up into that movie for four people? At home, I pay 25 bucks like I did for Scoob. I own it automatically. I invite people over. We already got our own popcorn because we got that giant box at Costco for 10 bucks that has 100 bags. Yeah, I'm saving, right? Now, I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying this should be everything. This should not definitely be a template for everything. But there are certain movies that lend themselves towards, I don't need to see this on the big screen. Like, you know what movie I liked that I really enjoyed? Blockers. It had John Cena in it. It was a good comedy. I really enjoyed it. I, I saw that in the theater. You know, I could have just as much, you know, sat at home and watched that and been as entertained. But... You know, I guess different things for different people. Let me know where you guys fall in on this. If you had a choice, day and date. And let's say this is for, what? Let's say the new Snake Eyes movie that's coming out. That's a good one. Snake Eyes. Would you stay at home if you had the option and watch it? Or do you want to go to the theaters and watch Snake Eyes? Let us know.